So what are my thoughts on indigenous Aboriginal Appalachian lore and more? If you do not know me, aloha, my name is Kimo. I'm a Hawaiian Kanaka Maoli High Seer. I am an Aboriginal practitioner. This is my ethnic background. This is my cultural background. This is the way that I was raised and the foods that I ate, the language that I spoke, the legends that I learned. So even in my own Aboriginal background, we have legends of lore, of things that are absolute. I. I have never been to the Appalachian Trail. I would love to go, absolutely. Do I believe in that lore? I have reverence to that lore. I have reverence to Hawaiian lore. Do I believe it as absolutely true? Well, I feel like I am a nexus in between the, the ancient practices and what new modalities of healing and understanding is, simply because it looks like something for me. Everything is incredibly visual, vibrantly, frequency, and more. Meaning that when the, the natives and the ancients and the aboriginals and the indigenous individuals were experiencing things going on in certain kinds of land, whether that be through vortice, whether that be through just electromagnetic energy or environmental energy or emotional energy, because of the way that their culture right, or, their, or their, their spirituality was, it would align with different kinds of belief systems based on that land. And then that repeats over and over again. So then that becomes the new custom, that becomes the new ritual. So all of a sudden, different kinds of energies that are felt are coming through the conduit of understanding it aboriginally in a very specific way in connection to a myth or a legend or more. Because of that, that information aboriginally and indigenous, and indigenous, <laughs> indigenously. <laughs> Let me say that sentence again and not stutter. So because of that, that information aboriginally and indigenously would be correct. Instead of arguing against is it actually real or not, with reverence, I have conversations about, well, what does it visually look like? Is it about some kind of demon on that land? For me, no, because I do not see information in that way. Why? because I don't choose to see information in that way. I choose to see information come through in the way of healing modalities, helpful understanding, wonderful cognition, and growth. I make that choice to see it in that way. So if I were to go to the Appalachian Trail, I promise you, I wouldn't see those things that are scary, see those things that are in the trees that'll come down and be harmful and more. I promise you I wouldn't see them that way. Would I feel energy come forward that could be interpreted in that way? I mean, I wanna see it. <laughs> I hope so. I gotta go on 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 a trip. Maybe we should make a maybe we should make a trip to go down together and explore it. So we could really just kind of diagnose with no bias what that information is and how it can be misinterpreted. I do this all the time in Polynesian folklore, all the time, and I love it.